Hello, everybody. I've got an email from Thrustmaster, and they said, dude, we've got a new product. Want to check it out? Yes. Everybody, it is time again for flight simulation hardware time. Ha! Yes, everybody, let's check out the long-awaited Thrustmaster Boeing yoke. You know, Thrustmaster has had quite a year this year, hasn't it? I mean, you know, they released their brand new Airbus joysticks, for example, which um, I also made a video about. For example, yeah, no, this is the Airbus joystick. It's very nice. It's the captain pack. It can be used on your with your left hand, right? Just like real captain's actually flat, of course, on the left side. And you know, it is really a proper Airbus licensed joystick and it feels really nice. And so does, of course, the throttle quadrant, which, you know, also recreates some of the engine, you know, startup knobs and stuff like that. Parking brake, it's all there, right? So that is really nice for, of course, all the Airbus fans that want to fly Airbus in their flight simulator, right? But what about the Boeing fans that want to fly with a yoke? Well, Thrustmaster, has a very brand new solution, everybody. So today, everybody, let's go ahead and unpack this very interesting product and, you know, do a comprehensive review of it. Should you buy it? Should you not? Let's find out. But everybody, before we begin unpacking this interesting yoke, let's talk a little bit about, you know, some numbers, right? So the pre-order period of this yoke pack has already started here on November 9th, right? But it will only be delivered on December 23rd, just pretty much right before Christmas. So yeah, this is definitely targeted as a nice Christmas present for all of the simulator pilots out there, I guess. And well, what we're looking at is apparently quite a premium product. Because the yoke pack itself, you know, with uh, the yoke and the throttle, you know, this package right here costs $500. Which for a pro kind of yoke really isn't all too much. Of course, you know, for example, the Airbus joystick was a lot cheaper. And you know, the, there's also more prices. So the yoke itself costs $400. And a throttle quadrant, which is right here, costs $150. And yes, by the way, again, Thrustmaster sent me this for free quite early, as you can see. I mean, it's not December 23rd, is it? So thank Thank you so much to Thrustmaster. But still, by the way, this is definitely not an ad for transparency, right? So I'm still just gonna try to like review this fairly, okay? All right, let's start. And uh, you know what? Why don't we start off actually here with the throttle quadrant, which looks like this. Uh, let's check it out. Mm. Uh. Yes. All right, this is what that looks like right here. We've got three handles, which I guess we're gonna put the levers on. Here we go, there we go. And what this throttle quadrant can actually do as well is pull reverse thrust, which um, is, is, that's, that's just something I'm so excited about, you know, pulling these. There actually has just not been many, you know, throttle quadrants that, you know, had this feature. And then we can add here on this lever, either a speed brake or a flap lever, right? Now the question definitely arises though, where does the flap go, right? It says flap on here which normally, you know, goes actually on the right side of the quadrant. That goes on a second pair of quadrant that we have in this package. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Speed brake, put that on. Nice. For the second throttle quadrant, let's go ahead and open this big old package right here. There we go. We've got some uh, Xbox stuff. That's, that's actually quite cool. Yeah, anyway. Okay, here we go. Bam and bam. And here we go, finally now the long awaited flap. And so now we have these two throttles and we can actually screw them together. And so now we have this huge old, um, you know, throttle quadrant, which actually allows us now to fly four engine Boeing plane, or any, literally any plane, right? Preferably, of course, maybe the 747 or something like that. Now, something that's generally also awesome about these new Thrustmaster products, like also the Airbus, they all have USB-C, which, uh, you know, we're in 2021, everybody. Isn't that nice? All right, so that's the throttle quadrant set up. But uh, <clears throat> now it is time for some serious business. Let's talk a little bit about the yoke. So here's, I guess, the cable of the yoke. Also, as you can see, USB-C. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> let's get the yoke out of here. Well, I can already tell us that it's quite heavy. <clears throat> All right, here we go. All right, yoke is freed. Okay, let's... uh. Yes, reveal it. It comes here with this clamp right here. So we can, you know, quite really easily clamp this. Ah. 
That was fast. Onto our desk. You know, that's actually a very fairly easy setup, which I guess is kind of important as well. You, of course, want to be able to also remove this joystick from your desk anytime in a matter of seconds. All right, and so finally, the proper elephant in the room. Oh, yeah, this feels actually... It feels like a yoke. And that's kind of the expectations I had. Oh man! You know, especially here on first impressions, I really, really like the rolling here. Oh damn, that's nice! You know, the axes actually are not half bad. Now this yoke, by the way, is kind of inspired by the 787 yoke from Boeing, right? And it does look like it. It does like look like a modern, um, you know, Boeing yoke. And it does, of course, have all the buttons that it, you know, has, is supposed to have, right? You know, buttons that can be used for like trimming or maybe slew mode here on the flight simulator that's really awesome you know autopilot buttons ATC buttons and actually something else that this thing has is these little uh, throttle levers look at those so yes you don't necessarily need to buy any throttle or anything like that sorry about the microphone you can uh, use this as more of a standalone but at the same time not really of course there is no proper way to implement rudder on a control like this so to control rudder you do need some rudder pedals now have, have some down here you know now here we go we also have a landing gear switch which i don't want to forget about very important as well of course now the materials used here in the joystick itself is plastic but um doesn't feel half bad it's very similar to the Airbus joystick and then you know it feels good in the hand it feels sturdy of a plastic so that's totally fine and by the way talking about buttons we can control autopilot here with our throttle quadrant so that's um what this does so let's go ahead and plug it up to the flight simulator and see how it really flies maybe do some butter landings alrighty so after a little bit of you know setting up time USB seeing all the USB C cables into the thing we are ready to go here in the flight simulator everything is set up uh, most of everything actually does work just out of the box without configuring anything even though i do have one problem especially uh the reverse rust things levers don't work i've tried to get them going but there's some kind of bug here in this flight simulator that actually refuses them kind of so uh yeah that just won't work if i'm being honest that's just something with the configuration it has to be fixed in the next update other than that i've got a little bit of a second impression as well here of the you know throttle quadrant in general it doesn't for example feel as nice as the airbus which as you guys probably remember used to make the sound right this oh yeah this is the speed brakes this is the flaps this one, though, on the other hand, does not have these kind of, you know, sounds, which actually are, are it's, it's, that's a little sad. But other than that, you know, the feel and the quality is pretty good. Now, something else that you can do here with this joystick is a little bit of customization. For example, you can make the yoke a little bit stiffer. For example, you can add springs into, like, really mechanically, which I did to make this whole thing as stiff as possible to make this, you know, a little bit more realistic. Because, you know, if you guys have ever flown a real plane or, like, hold, held a yoke or anything like that, you might know how stiff these controls get. You really actually do need a bit of muscles to move an airplane sometimes um so you know what now the stiffness is quite fine it does take a bit of force to pull this forward and back that's nice and by the way as you can see yes it does move also the elevators of this beautiful 747s and so does the rolling work that is nice but anyway let's just actually get straight to the point and just fly this airplane uh yeah let's just get this going let's put the flaps to 50 percent is that possible yes as you can see that worked let's hop into the cockpit view now something i just found out as well is that you have this like little joystick right here not to fly the aeroplane but to control the camera which is fairly nice that's actually i like that smoothness of it and let's go ahead and release the parking brake for that one we actually do have to there we go yes and now let's take off the 747 here from well, london city and it's now time to keep my hands here maybe on the throttle some pilots do like to take both of their hands here on the yoke as well you know what let's do that here we go 100 knots let's keep it nice on the center line also with the rudder pedals down here okay and ooh, all right there we go we've taken off 747 is taken off fine let's go ahead and use the gear and ooh, it does have a very nice feeling to it can you hear that that's pretty cool. It does actually feel like some smaller aeroplanes. That, that feels really nice. And there we go. We've just taken off a 747. So now, how's the somewhat flying realism? How does the plane handle? I mean, I have flown some yoke planes. 
And uh, I do have to say, it flies like a flies like a yoke, which is uh, which is a good sign. Yeah, this is nice. And some more buttons here for the camera control. Hmm. Quite Swiss Zero One approved. Talking about Swiss Zero One approved, let's go ahead and get this plane landed now. Uh, come on. That one we have to pull a little bit up here. Of course, we have to, of course, use the trim, which uh, works as well. That's good. So we try to do a nice landing. This is a very trash approach that we're doing, but you know, let me just try my best. Okay, here we go. So maybe try to do this. Oh, this is a trash approach. Guys, I've ever flown the 747 here in the flight simulator. It's really not that easy to handle, especially here in a bit of a <clears throat> tighter situation. Okay, runway's coming up down here. All right, here we go. Landing coming up. Let's do this. The camera's very low. Oh my god, that's been a hard landing. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and stop, which again is a little bit of a problem because reverse thrust just doesn't work just yet. But here we go. We've landed. But very badly. Of course, we can use our... Ooh, yeah, that is nice for some butter landing shots. And oh, you know what? That landing hardness wasn't even all too bad. You guys are... You know, stop complaining. This was fine. But alrighty, let's maybe draw a little bit of a conclusion about this interesting yoke system here from Thrustmaster. First of all, I uh, I kind of like it. It's really good. I'm pretty sure this Thrustmaster yoke is going to replace at least the good old Cytec yoke that we all probably know and maybe even use. I have one, for example, because this one honestly is quite a lot better. Maybe that's quite easy to be better than the Cytec yoke, but this is really not bad. I mean, of course, you're still getting plastic. There are yoke systems that don't have plastics like the Yoko yoke, you know? But that one costs a little bit more. Yeah, you know what? This is this is fine. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this video sounds a lot like an ad, but there's not too many bad things to say. You know, I said before that I don't, I'm not really the big fan of the flap handles right here, the flap levers. But yeah, other than that, it's, it's, it's good. So yes, for every yoke enthusiast, Boeing enthusiast, I can recommend this. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video with absolutely bad landings. Again, thanks to Thrustmaster for sending this to me. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, British Loser, One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.